Previously in your mathematics studies, you've probably talked about things that don't change a lot. Or if they change, they change in a uniform manner. For example, when we look at the function f of x, it's changing. As you go further to the right, the values increase. That increase is uniform. You probably know what this uniform increase and change is. But when we look at the yellow graph, g of x, as we go further to the right, the values change but then it reaches a point where it's a maximum. Then the values begin to change, but the change is decreasing. Then it reaches a point that almost looks like a minimum. We're going to learn how we measure change. And when we talk about the measuring of change, the central theme throughout the course is how do we measure this change over very small increments. As mathematicians like to say, infinitesimally small increments. So in the back of your mind, with each activity that we do, with each new concept that we learn, think about how this change over these small increments or these infinitesimally small increments affect the way that we measure.